So for breakfast we have two bagels with cheese and chocolate spread, one glass of juice and of course of coffee. This is my 10 millimeter insert belt. I've been using this for the past two years, but it had some problems. The first thing that happened was that part right here, some of them, they broke inside of here so it wouldn't attach, so it would just fall off. But when I attached it like this and locked everything in place, it would still hold on even though it was broken. Something else happened. So this lever here is supposed to be attached like this and then you can open it but as you can see here the screw here it fell out and I couldn't find it so I just took a regular nail like this and I just put it through here and hold it together like this then I attached it like this and while putting it on, I had to be very careful to make sure that the nail didn't fall out of this hole. And then, I would fasten it like this, and then it would stick. Not a very safe way to use a belt, suddenly in the middle of a squat, it might have just fallen out completely. So, a couple of days ago, I bought a new belt. I went for an upgrade, so I'm no longer using this 10mm insert belt. Instead, I have bought this very expensive belt right here and holy shit it's very good this is the SPD lever belt 13 millimeters this one is 10 millimeters this one is 13 millimeters so it's a lot thicker I tested it on the squats yesterday as you can see here Then you can just boom. <laughs> and it sits like crazy. Also, the coolest thing about this belt, just really listen to this. This one, you have to unscrew here when you get fatter or skinnier, and then you just have to remove it with screw it out like this. So this one, you don't have to do that. You can see this part here, you can just attach it. So one of these. So if I want it tighter, I can just remove it and put it in there and <coughs> nearly kill myself. Yeah, come on. Oh, go, go. Uh, I still haven't deadlifted with this belt. I've only tried it on the squats and the bench press, but I'm very excited to see how it feels like on deadlift. It's a very expensive belt. I think it's worth it, but I've also gotten a haircut four weeks ago, but you haven't seen it yet. So here it is. What's up, Nico?
This is my pre-workout meal, just some rice, meat and sauce, very simple. I will also have another glass of juice. Uh, today I have a push day and we have heavy bench today and my bench has been feeling very good lately, like extremely good. So I'm gonna warm up today and maybe if I feel good, I'm gonna try to do, go for a new PR on the bench press. As I mentioned, that one rep max was not in my program at all. My program actually said four sets of three reps with 82.5% of my one rep max and a three by seven with 70%. So uh, I felt very good. My bench felt very good last week and today I warmed up and I did uh, one rep with 100 kgs and it didn't feel as good as last week so I was thinking man I shouldn't do this but I did it anyways and I failed <laughs> I basically I just ruined my entire session but luckily we filmed everything anyways and now I've been to the store bought some chocolate milk a banana uh, uh, I also have forgotten to buy creatine the last two weeks, so I haven't taken creatine for about two weeks. But they have a store on the floor under us where they actually have creatine, so I'm actually gonna leave the car and go down there and buy that freaking creatine. <laughs> uh, this happens every time I ran out of creatine. 
I said, okay, I will buy it tomorrow. And then it never happens. And basically I wait for two weeks and then I lose all the effect of the creatine and then I have to start over again. So yeah. Uh, lately I have been receiving a lot of DMs from subscribers who want to know when the next video is. And to me, that is, that is extremely awesome and makes me so happy. But I want to explain why I haven't been uploading recently and what has been going on exactly what's been going on so before I answer that yes I will start to upload more frequently again so don't you worry but uh, the first question I want to answer is I told you guys that I was going to compete in a men's physique show in March unfortunately I will not be competing in March. The reason to that is because I went and talked to a coach, I went to posing practices and everything and I asked him what he thought he, if, if I should compete in March or not. So he said I had a great physique and everything but personally he thought that I should build a little, little bit more muscle before I went to a competition. He said I could choose if I wanted to compete in March or not, but he would recommend to wait until a show in September, which is uh, five months from now or something like that, uh, in order to build some more muscles on my, some more muscle on my chest and my arms. Uh, and I agreed, of course, I said yes that's a good decision to make so I agreed with him and we decided to wait until September so I will be competing in September instead yes I will compete uh, what sucks about this is that I'm I was looking forward to bulking in March uh, I wanted to make a series and everything and I'd hyped it up for you guys but unfortunately we have to wait until September and we have to bulk and gain some more muscle before we compete. Which is fine, but we have to do it. Uh, and again, uh, I also told you guys that I was going to start using a coach, uh, but I haven't started using him yet. The reason to that is it's very expensive to use a coach, uh, but I'm willing to use that money but what happened at that time when me and the coach agreed to wait until September with competing was that at that point I was eating 5000 calories every single day and that became really hard and I also started working at started working full time which made it more difficult to eat all the food I was supposed to eat and uh, I started missing on many days I didn't reach my calorie goal I didn't eat enough food so my weight went down up up and down between 85 and 87 kgs and I felt that I didn't get anywhere and I didn't want to hire a coach and then I wouldn't be able to eat as many calories as he told me to and also that started to fuck with me mentally that I didn't eat enough and then I was like feeling useless because I couldn't even eat enough food but I was starting to feel sick and when I was eating my breakfast before work I always felt very sick because I was eating so much and I felt like I wanted to puke and I had to eat a big lunch at work and then I started to feel sluggish at work so I tried my best to eat 5000 calories every single day but what usually happened was that I managed to eat like I managed to eat 5,000 calories every day, Monday to Friday, but then when the weekend came and I slept for longer, then I didn't manage to eat all my food and that affected my weigh-ins and I could feel it on my workouts. Those workouts where I didn't eat as much the day before, they felt more shit. And uh, yeah, so that's the reason why I haven't started using the coach because I haven't been able to eat the right amount of calories every single day. I, this has never happened to me before. Before it was easy for me to eat 5000 calories every day but 
up until 4,700 calories. I've been bulking for uh, over a year now. I started bulking in October in 2017. I weighed 73 kgs then and now I weigh 87 kgs. So I ate like over 4,000 calories for a year. And that was completely fine. I even felt hungry when the day was over. But now, the last four months, it has just been so freaking hard. And I don't know why. I guess it's my body adapting and... Uh, so... Uh, and right now, I'm not sure if I want to hire the coach on my bulk because, to be honest, I really don't want to bulk anymore. It's It sucks eating so much food that you feel sick and almost have to puke every single day. Uh, so, mainly what I really struggle with, this bulk at the moment. As I mentioned, I don't feel hungry at all, which isn't like me. Uh, and in order for me to get in all those calories my diet has gone to shit I don't eat clean at all I just eat the worst food you can imagine a lot of pizza and sugars and shit just to get in the calories and that makes me feel like shit cause eating so much sugar and processed food that isn't good for you so I really feel like shit right now compared to when I was eating lower calories and I can't eat more clean food either because if I start to only eat rice and chicken and vegetables and fruits it's f it's way too difficult to eat that much healthy food when you have to eat 5000 calories uh, and uh, so that has resulted in me starting to eat more shitty foods which I don't like, but that's what I have to do. The, ca the predicament I'm in now is either I have to continue to bulk, try to eat 5,000 calories every single day. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm able to do that. Uh, or I could just have a little mini cut uh, just to lower my calories for four to eight weeks, just to slow down my metabolism and maybe make myself feel more hungry than uh, hungry again and then start to bulk again after four to eight weeks just to and the competition is in september so i will have to start cutting for that in july probably but personally what i want to do is to cut for eight weeks now in march so cut the entire march and april then eat on my maintenance on May and June and then start to get ready for the show in July. That's maybe not the smartest thing to do but at this point it's so difficult to get in the calories. But that's why I want to ask for some help from you guys. What do you think I should do? Should I just try to bulk and eat all and eat 5000 calories every day and hire a coach? Or should I just take it easy for four to eight weeks, just go on a mini cut and relax a little bit and don't worry so much about eating as much? I really don't know. It's so freaking difficult. I feel like the smart thing to do is to continue to bulk, but at the same time, I don't feel it's. N I don't see why I should just eat 5,000 calories some days and not be able to do it other days and then my weight just goes from 85, 87, 85, 87, 85. Uh, I, don't f I don't feel like I get any progression. I'm getting a little bit stronger but I don't know. It's, it's very difficult but yeah. So that's what's been going on lately. That's also why I haven't been uploading since I started working full time. I have to get, in, I've been have to be getting used to my new schedule, and at the same time, when I haven't feel, felt as motivated to make YouTube videos because I'm just bulking, I feel like my physique look like shit now because my body fat percentage went up, and since I can't even eat enough calories, I haven't gotten any PRs, and I don't feel like it's fun for you guys to watch YouTube videos when I can't even eat my calories and everything uh, so yeah but can you guys please let me know in the comment section down below what you think I should do again continue to bulk just suck it up try to eat 5000 calories every day 
Or should I just take a break with a mini cut and then continue after the mini cut and then do the show in September? And the show in September, that is going to happen no matter what. Uh, that's decided. If I'm not able to get any bigger than I was in March, I don't freaking care. I'm gonna compete in September anyways. But yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for all the support. I really appreciate all of you who have sent me DMs on Instagram and uh, asked about videos and everything. But now we're back on track and I'm going to continue to make videos more frequently. And so remember, comment down below what you think I should do.